Did you know that IDC has confirmed 30 to 35 percent of IT projects still fail? The major reason behind the failure of software development projects is due to poor communication, poor management by senior authorities, employer resistance and insufficient funding. To avoid these problems, businesses prefer customer-centric innovation techniques such as design thinking and agile methodology. These concepts have similar techniques such as gathering user feedback, following an iterative approach of the model that results in a better idea. With such benefits, designers avoid errors and result in faster and reliable output. However, these two concepts are not interchangeable. Hi, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we'll be discussing the design thinking and agile development. Let us see how these two techniques can be implemented together. Now, without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial Design Thinking and Agile. Today we will be looking at what is design thinking, what is agile, design thinking explained, design thinking and agile. So the first topic, what is design thinking? Design thinking is extremely helpful in solving problems that are ill-defined or unknown. It is an iterative method that helps resolve user issues or redefines problems with the best solutions. Next, let us understand what is Agile. Agile is a set of methods and practices that focuses on iterative development. Also, requirements and solutions are obtained due to self-organizing cross-functional teams collaborating. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. Moving further, let us understand what is design thinking in detail. Design thinking requires designers to step into their customer's shoes and try to find a solution to their problem with empathy. The process also helps resolve user issues by redefining problems and providing the best solutions. Design thinking covers five stages. They are empathy, define, ideate, prototype, and testing. Let's talk about empathy first. The initial step to follow in the design thinking process is to pay attention to the client's requirements. A designer or its team should consider the user requirements. In short, they should step into their shoes and try to find the solution to their problem in the best way possible. Without the empathy stage, the design process lacks all important user-centric quality which helps the designer reach the success stage rather than failing. Next comes the define stage. The define stage will encourage the team to gather useful techniques in order to solve challenges with the least difficulty. An individual will start to progress to the third stage. That is, the ideate stage by asking relevant questions to encourage the person to develop ideas and solutions. Next is the ideate stage. This phase gives priority to creativity and ideation. In this stage, the designers will be performing ideation sessions and searching for new ideas. In simple words, the phase focuses on creative and curious activities such as brainstorming activity. Next is the prototype stage. In this phase, we can experiment and modify the errors found in the product. This phase is a mini version of the product. It validates solutions and tries to resolve obstacles. This stage has two prototypes. One is low fidelity and the other one is medium fidelity. Finally comes testing. This stage gives importance to user feedback based on the prototypes we have created. Basically, in this stage, the user's feedback on the prototype stage is considered and improvements are made. That was all about the five stages in design thinking process. Moving forward, let us see how design thinking and agile can be implemented together. While design thinking and agile are applied separately, the two strategies can be implemented together as well. A majority of IT companies have begun to utilize agile in conjunction with design thinking whereas Agile methodology is a practice of solving problems and design thinking is an approach to find user problems. For teams looking to leverage Agile and design thinking for the first time, here are a few recommendations to focus on. Let us see the first topic. Begin at a small level. 
It means focus on high value, low risk opportunities in order to earn better solutions using design thinking and agile together. Then with better results take on more challenging initiatives. Next is invest in your research. It means ensure the entire design team understand the end user. Suppose there are any existing data, start by testing some ideas. Start the design thinking process by building a map of the user's journey. As a result, it encourages team members to focus on empathize phase and discover new solutions. Next, focus on a clearly defined problem statement with Sprint. Start design thinking in Sprint Zero. Encourage the entire team to understand the problem statement and build a useful design framework. Then, build a production team culture. Form a core design and development team. Teams such as decision makers, UX researcher, designer, visual designer, scrum master, developers, and quality analysts. Do not exceed the team to more than 10 members and make sure every professional has an equal say. Create an environment that supports collaboration across departments, like a successful design solution. Next is optimal use of design thinking. Use design thinking during the first stage of project development and then apply it whenever an important feature has to be developed. Next comes design patterns and maintain a good user experience. This stage helps in minimizing design and development time. Design patterns work as building blocks encouraging team members to remove lower level design decisions. The patterns created should be accepted by the entire team and should be easily implemented. Finally comes periodic testing. Based on the characteristics of the project, set up a testing schedule. The time can be scheduled once in four days or once during the sprint. Test simple prototypes to eliminate errors and understand the viability of ideas during the early stages. Test the working software and evaluate the result for a better output. So that was all about design thinking and agile. And if you have any doubts about the tutorial design thinking and agile, please feel free to drop a message in the comment section below and our experts will be back to you as soon as possible. If you like our video, hit that like button and keep watching our videos. Till then, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.